So what can you do with a few scraps of uh, steel wire or metal wire there and some old uh, copper magnetic wire and some magnets. Well you could twist them all together and make a nifty little coil on a spool right here. And then you can uh, test the polarity of your magnets. Do 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 do. Uh, gun magnets want to go everywhere on the planet. Okay, well there's positive side. There's the negative side. Oh, uh, got it. Now where's the voltage? I'm still plugged in. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. The meter's still connected. No hidden battery. Now. Da -da -da. Okay, point zero point one nine in the negative side. All right, go make a fool out of me, huh? Come on. Ta-da! 0.13 volts. Come on. Arr! Maybe it's like one of those experiments where you gotta think about it. <laughs> Hold still there. Why does this always work whenever you're not trying? Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> There's positive. Jab, turkey. There's negative. Let's try a whole different magnet configuration altogether. Two hard drive magnets. Ta da! Point zero four three. All right, now swap the wires around. Point 
point zero point three nine. Swap them back. I like the numbers on the other side. <laughs> Come on. Short my wires out over here. Yeah, that's an easier way to do that. Very interesting. It's a weak magnet. Okay, that's just a little ceramic magnet there. Alright, there's what, uh, there's what just a hard drive magnet. Okay, here's my fingers. Just my fingers alone. Eh, nothing up the sleeve, man. What's up, yo? <laughs> Alright. Now the hard drive magnets again. Ta-da! Huzzah! <laughs> Alright, so maybe you can't tell the difference between north and south pole on there. Well, there's a, there's a negative. There's a positive. And these are connected with a uh, piece of metal there. And this one right here is just out of an old, uh, old shake-up flashlight. Urgh. That's kind of cruddy though, so it make a very good contact. Must be dead. <laughs> Alright, come on, man. See, this is the thing about science whenever you're doing your experiments. Sometimes you get these anomalies and then they go away. Try 
now this. Oh. So I'm conducting negative 4.9 volts there through my body. Looks like it went down there. It's in the positive range. Da -da -da -da. Okay. It's without no batteries. It's negative side. Still negative side. I must have a negative attitude. <laughs> You love your reactor, man. And there's nothing under the table. No hidden power sources. Now this magnet here was doing pretty good earlier. Now it ain't doing nothing. something here. Ta -da. Why are you I just got it down there on the on the deal. Ta -da. There's some magnetic coupling going on there. Just the hands, just the body. There's with the magnet. So you can definitely see an amplification going on there. Ta da! Positive. Switch hands. Negative. Positive. So apparently my left hand is negative and my right hand is positive. And then let's go back to the hard drive magnet. See what we got going on there. Uh. So, point thirty-three. Swap my hand around. Okay, swap the magnet completely around. Mine's 31. Plus 0.39. 
All right, folks. That's uh, that's some um, regular steel wire and some copper uh, copper wire, magnetic copper wire out of an old electric motor, and then I don't mess up my doggone camera by getting the, the magnet too close. Er. Ta-da! That's in the bolt range. If you can see that, if you can see that meter there. Okay, and that is just my fingers alone. So you can see that amplification there. Ta da! Yeah, I got it. Hold still. What did I do? Huh. Shorten everything out. little bit of pressure added alright that's enough of that